Welcome to Roland's campaign, Turning Point. Your enemies are allied against you and start to close by. So be ready to come out fighting. You will need to own all the four castles in this small valley to win. Let's play as the Sorceress this time. And we'll just watch the intro again, even though we saw it in the previous episode. But for those that didn't see the previous episode, we'll just see like the start of the intro, because otherwise it's Archibald telling you to come over to his side. But we did that. Our Caesar of the Carator Mines has strengthened our position immeasurably. This strength, in turn, has begun to convince some of the more cautious lords to join our righteous struggle. Two of these neutrals have finally agreed to join our side. Their strongholds lie in a key valley that must be controlled in order to maintain supply lines to Archibald's castle. Your orders are to raise an army from the local population and launch an attack against the other two disloyal barons in the valley. Once this objective has been achieved, we will be firmly in control of the continent's resources and will at last shift from defense to offense. General. There we go. Okay. One of your allies has joined Archibald. You now face an opponent with three castles to your one. Good luck. Oh my. But I have dwarfs. So this is the same map as what I just played, I'm sure. Because it looks very similar. Although this was a knight before. But the dwarves were here, weren't they? In that same position. So, okay. We've got... Dwarves. Cottage. Tavern. Treehouse. So we don't have a tavern. May as well get the statue first. This map does look tiny. I'm going to leave these ones behind. Because they're going to be so slow. And I don't want to be slowed down that much. See what the uh, signpost says. Long live Roland the true king. I'm going to get another hero. Oh no. What's with these rogues constantly ganking? I don't know if I can kill these. Mission lost already. Probably can't. Nah, maybe... Oh, no, 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 no. Game over, boys. Good game. Well played. Ah, well. Let's just add that to the difficulty then, shall we? So I'm going to convert from whoever that last hero was to a social justice warrior. And she's going to take charge. See, I would get those, but I wasn't expecting to get attacked when picking this item up. So it was more efficient to get the gold and then grab the or uh, dwarfs. All right, I'm gonna get this now. They didn't actually lose their numbers. I think they got the same numbers. He's probably gonna go for the sprites. I may as well just attack first. I don't think they're gonna hit my dwarfs, and their range. Wherever I move the sprites, they're going to get hit anyway. So you either just let him hit them and hope that some of them survive, which maybe one or two of them will. Or you just attack and save some health for the dwarves. So I think that's what I'd do. Oh, well, I didn't know he was going to get morale. Yeah, go on then. That might save... No, never mind. Now I've taken a hit there because I put him in... Close proximity. All for a trash item, anyway. Magic arrow. Oh, it's lightning bolt. Even better. So I was supposed to have, like, a second hero to, like, collect resources and stuff. I certainly can do that again, but now I feel a bit jilted or jaded so I might just use only my money on resources rather than a second hero I feel spited now that's a nice item don't mind if I do grabbing them straight away no questions asked. I'm going to keep picking this up in case the computer comes close.
because they might take it for themselves. There's a lot of dwarves to pick up, my goodness. I know there's dwarves elsewhere because we saw them in the previous level. May as well treat myself to some goblin slaying. That's what a dwarf would do. trying to save the dwarfs. Trying to be efficient with movement points too. A brief stop at an improbable rural inn yields an exchange of money tails and accidentally luggage. You find a magical skull cap in your new backpack. Mind influence and spells. Halved. It's probably worth going north because it's grass, but also because it's um, Warlock. And Warlock has the dungeon and the statue. So there's technically more money than the other characters. I don't think they stand a chance against my dwarves. I'm just going to spend my money on a base, make sure it's protected, and then just go around destroying the uh, enemy heroes. I will want to get that as well. Don't really want them. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. the dwarf. Could have a second hero just to pick up the other dwarves, but I'm still, I'm being stubborn and I'm not doing it. I don't know why. Maybe because I lost my other hero. Mine. 82 dwarves are on the case. I suppose I could use the lightning, maybe. Shake it up. Ugh. Navigation. I guess every sort starts off with navigation. Can't get out of it. Doomed. Fat Warner is her name. Thank you, you made that a bit easier. Can anyone stop the 81 dwarves? He's going to try. But these dwarves... I don't even know if I need to cast Bless, to be honest. I think they might just still kill anything that attacks them. Not quite, but that's good, because the goblins don't get their hit then. And then we got a free pass. One, two, three, four... Might be doing bless actually. Don't want to backfire on the goblins because there's a lot.
more dwarves to pick up. It's a good thing. Keep our dwarven army marching on. March right through. When it's day one, I'm going to buy some units from that base. Mr. Necromancer now. Not sure where he was. I saw his hero somewhere. But I seem to be blind to it now. Okie dokie. There goes all my gold. I thought I was quite, you know, hoarding with the gold, but actually, it's all gone. Just like that. I'm glad they did that. Kind of. Not anymore, but... Look at that. you got two lots of dwarves here as well. Double dwarf. Oh, man. No chance. These midpoint levels are very short. But it will get spicier again as we get to the later levels. 